All right. So selecting a migration strategy, let's kind of look a little bit at a high level. So before you before you migrate, what are some of the things you should consider? First of all, I think is the most important one. Are you migrating for the right reasons? I've seen this over and over again where people are like, hey, iceberg is awesome. I need to migrate to it. I'm going to start doing this work. Like, stop. Hold on a second. Let's just wait for a second and ask the question. Are you migrating for the right reasons? Commonly, I see users migrate to iceberg because they want to reduce the storage cost of their tables. Because there isn't native compaction and cleanup in Hive tables, those tables tend to get really, really big, right? So Iceberg brings that functionality automatically into the, into the, the system. So you get a significant cost reductions from compacting and, and removing unused data. Uh, usability, right? It's much easier to use with regards to updating and deleting in a safe way. You can enable new use cases. Right? If I want to share my data across Salesforce and ClickHouse and whatever that might be, I don't have to duplicate the data and put it in different formats for all those systems. I do it once and then I can access them uh, from anywhere. Should you migrate or should you modernize? So migrate in, in the way I see it is migrate is kind of taking what you got and porting it to a new format, like taking Hive table and moving it to Iceberg. Modernize says, let's go look at the entire thing and say, instead of just migrating the table format and the structure, should we migrate from Hive Compute to Spark? Should we go from a Hive Metastore to a Iceberg REST catalog, right? So that's modernizing. When you kind of look at the entire thing and you say, can I replace these other components so that at the end, when I'm done, the long-term benefit is that I have a much more modern platform rather than just changing the storage layer to get some of the benefits. Um, but it's it's a, it's a big question. I, I see this often. People start with, I want to migrate, but very, very quickly it gets to, well, I should probably modernize anyway. And that's a bigger project. Um, which catalog to use? Do you want to stay with your Hive Meta Store? Are you considering going from on-prem Hive to AWS Glue catalog on top of uh, AWS? Or do you want to go to the new Snowflake uh, Polaris catalog or maybe you know Unity catalog? Right, so you got to think about what catalog you want to go. If you want to stay with Hive, fairly simple. Uh, there's certain strategies to help you there. If you don't and you want to move to a different catalog, well, some strategies may work, others may not work. Um, are the tools uh, in your data platform updated? Right, I see this. I see this fairly often as well. Where, like, okay, cool. I started migrating to Iceberg. I'm building Iceberg tables, but my query engines don't support Iceberg, or they're on an older version, and I can't update to the new version because there's some other dependencies that I don't want to break. Uh, so it's important to kind of do some of that dependency homework before uh, before you jump ahead and you get to, to migrate and you realize that, you know, the systems that you need or the tools that your users are using aren't able to take advantage of those, of those new tables. Uh, which tables to migrate first? That question comes out often as well. Uh, should I start with kind of like the less used tables, smaller tables? Um, those are easy, less impact, but they're also marginal benefit, right? When you actually migrate to them, nobody's really using them. You're not going to see a lot of cost savings or performance benefits because there's maybe small tables, nobody's using them, not that big of a deal. So should you go to the most used tables, bigger benefit, but potentially bigger impact, right? If something happens, you choose the right strat the wrong strategy and something breaks, now you got to recover that could be a bigger problem for you, but you'll get much bigger benefits. You'll see bigger cost savings, bigger performance improvements. Um, are these base or raw or derived tables, right? Uh, you know, if you have a bunch of raw tables, they're coming from your Postgres MySQL database into a staging, uh, into the bronze layer in your data lake. Do you want to migrate those tables to Iceberg? Are you okay leaving those as Hive tables? And then the derived tables, the one that, uh, are based on some business logic after ETLing, do you want those to become iceberg tables? It's a good strategy to think about, right? Maybe you don't want to touch the raw stuff. You want to leave it as is because there's a lot of uh, internal dependencies about the ingestion pipelines and things like that and ETL code, but simply updating your ETL code to write to an iceberg table as opposed to a hive table might be a, a small lift for you and then you get significant benefits. So you can think about that. And then is it a one-time migration or continuous? And we'll, we'll talk about that in more detail in a little bit.